What's going on you guys? Uh, so I have a Dell Optiplex 7080. This is the small phone factor. It's gonna be tear down. So I just got this uh, actually like a few days ago. Buy online, new. So just look at the back side. It looks kind of similar to the Dell Optiplex 7070. So let me look at the, move the second panel. So I'm gonna be using Phillips head and the uh, flathead screwdriver. I'm gonna remove the three screws in the back from the power supply. Now I'm going to do is remove the front cover basil. And here's the optical drive. I can remove, so there's a clip where you press it down here, corner, and it slides out like this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try to remove the video card. To do that, so I clip this up, and it's got a secure clip right here. You see that, the PCI Express Time 16 slot right here? You have to take your finger like this, and you're gonna press it up, and slide out like this. And this is what you have to press on right here. Press it up before you're gonna remove the video card. Uh, this video card I installed, I bought it separately. This is a GT1030 uh, with the low profile bracket. Remove the memory now. Remove the SATA ports. Here's the SATA cables. And actually the power supply it's using is actually different than the 7070. It's got a, you're using a two, four, uh, for the CPU power, it's actually using two connectors here instead of two, instead of one. And it's got a six pin right here for another power. So it's a little bit different, the power supply. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the, the SSD here, the 2280. I need a mini screwdriver. Which I do not have, so I'm going to have to use this one. And it's actually got a two, so it has two actually, the 22 the, the slots here for the, you can install two SSDs here, one here in the top, one in the bottom here, you can see. And so I'm gonna go on the other side. I'm gonna remove the cooler now. CPU fan, the cooler, I'm gonna start up here in the top. Looks like it doesn't fit, so I'm gonna get another screwdriver.
And you're gonna disconnect the CPU fan going to the motherboard. We're gonna have to go to the other side again. Looks kind of similar to using the same as the 7070. We'll have to check and see. So I'm gonna get this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the CPU. What I will do is I'm gonna get a paper towel and I'll apply a rubbing the alcohol and napkin. So I got an Intel Core i7 10th gen. I'm gonna remove it. Now we move the battery. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the power supply. You're gonna press on here in the corner here. You're gonna press on with your screwdriver here to move the secure clip and the slide to the right. You disconnect the internal speaker. So the power supply is actually 200 watt. And the connector is a little bit different than the Aptiplex 7070. You see, this got a two four pin CPU power it's using. Uh, it's a six pin here, but it's using a two uh, four pin CPU power. So, a little bit different power supply. So, we'll do remove the internal speaker, comes out like this. And let me go ahead and uh, uh, the power switch gonna be here in the corner. The way you, you're gonna take the flathead screwdriver and the way you remove it is it's gonna hold by the two clips here in the top and the bottom. So now I'm gonna to try to remove the motherboard. So you guys, here's the motherboard. So you guys, this will be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.